and hi everyone today in this quick tutorial we're going to learn how to create a VR game for the HTC Vive. We will implement end presence, teleportation on different area, grabbing object and all of this without a single line of code. Ok so first step is to create a new Unity project, I will give it the name Vive Tutorials, you can see that my headset is currently plugged and I will just hit the create project button. So now the second step is to create a little scene inside Unity. I will need a plane, which I will reset its position. I will also need a cube, so just right click here on the hierarchy, goes on the 3D object and click on cube. I will also reset the position of my cubes. I just want some colors in my scene, so I will create a new material, I will call it blue and I will change its color to something a little bit blue. I can maybe uh, get the cam a little bit closer for my scene and I will set the height to zero. So now if I go under edit, project settings and then player and I check the virtual reality supported box, make sure that the open VR is set as your virtual reality SDK. And if I press play, you can see that I can use my HTC Vive to see the scene that I've just created inside Unity. Okay, so now we will uh, download the Steam VR plugin. This will be really uh, useful to give us some prefab, but also some code which are already implemented inside this package. Now click on import. Wait for the package to decompress. This is all the package content, so just click import. A new window open, you can click accept all and then click OK. We will search for the player prefab, which is uh, made by uh, inside the Steam VR. This will give us a player for our uh, VR game. We can de delete the main camera, we don't need it anymore, and we will move the player prefab a little far uh, from uh, our cube. If I press play, you can see that I have a new window that will show up. Click on yes. Sometimes it's needed to click a multiple type uh, on the yes button. Goes under this panel and check the save and generate button. Okay, so now I can close these windows and hit play. And you can see that I'm able to see my virtual controller inside my games. Also, if I move the thumb under the thumbstick, uh, it follows color correctly. Okay, perfect. So now we will focus on the player movement using teleportation. So search for teleporting inside our project. You can drag the teleporting prefab and then hit play. Right away, you can see that I have now a red laser that, that can help me to move around. But for now, we haven't set our scene to be teleported, so we cannot move anywhere. Next step is to go under the project and search for teleport point. Okay, so I will drag the prefab in my scene. You can see that it's a little prefab with a little arrow. I will duplicate it and duplicate it again around my cube. All this point will be used later for the teleportation. I will create a red materials for my scene so it will be easier to see. Okay, so now we are back using our teleportation and you can see that if I point the teleportation point with my uh, 
HTC Vive controller, I'm able to teleport. Okay, so next step is to create a, near, uh, a teleportation area. So I'm creating a plane like we've did. I'm giving it a little offset of six centimeters and I will uh, change its size to uh, something a little bit smaller. So the next step is just to add the teleport I area script to it. And now you can see that I'm able to point this little plane that we've just created and to move around inside it. And now for the final step, I will create a new cube by clicking, uh, by right clicking on the hierarchy, doing 3D object and cube. I will change inside in size to something a little bit smaller. Okay, right there, it will be okay. And I will add the interactable script to it. I will also add the throwable script. This will add a rigid body, which will give physics to our cubes. You can see that also another uh, script velocity estimator is added. I will now duplicate our first cube. I will duplicate it again, again, and again. If the Steam VR icon are getting a bit annoying, you can go under Gizmo and change the 3D icon size. And now if I press play, I'm now able to move around my scene using the teleport system with the security, but I can interact with the cube and grind them if I want. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe.